Thought this will now batch with Xiaoying. Let's see. Oh, Birch. We're just saying that good rainfall is bound to bring good hiding. What do you know, Tim? It's arrived, right, on. Did it go? Well, I trust. Tell us all about it. It was all thanks to Deptus Fujin. Explain what happened to Grandpa Lu and Uncle Luo. So you met the legendary cop Adeptus. Why? One would expect the young master to be Thomas drilled. You really do have friends in high places. Now your water and soil problems should be normal. Well, old Luo, what did I say? I told you it was a soil problem. But you wouldn't listen. If it wasn't for them. Who knows when our tea leaf problem would be. <clears throat> that, uh, regardless, thank you both for your help, honored guests. With your help and the protection of the top adeptus, I'm sure our village will surely see a great harvest of tea leaves this coming year. Ah, yes. Please take these. It as a token of our thanks. Right, I'm an almost forgot. I came across this kid during our adventures. Is he from the village too? <laughs> Uncle Luo, I'm back. Well, if it isn't you, little Mao, finally of a mind to come back, huh? Huh? You don't seem worried at all. And what is there to fret about? This kid runs around in the mountains all the time and he always comes back safe after getting tired. If you ask me, there's been a depth of looking after him in secret all along. You know, maybe that might even have been said top Adeptus. I've said it before. It wasn't an Adeptus, it was Bluey. Alright, alright. Little Mao, don't argue with Luo here. He's just pretending to know what he's talking about. Come by my place later. I'll make you some egg custard. Ooh, Ed Custard! Huh. And now you pretend to be a good person. Wait, what do you mean, pretending to know? In any case, I don't really know how to repay you, dear guests. If you should need any help in the future, Taoying Village will be there to lend you a hand. Oh, well, thanks. Might need it. Genius Blessings of Sunken Jade. Completed. Let's go. Oh, that's great. That's great. Finally, see the achievements that I get. Or can use under continental explorer. Where the Bishui lingers, light up the Chinuvel map, the Liwei region. Done. Chinu's blessings of Sunken Jade. Complete Chinu's blessings of Sunken Jade. Done. Expressed. <laughs> as, I, as if seen from afar, ascend to the heavens with the dreams of the past. Ancient shamans. That's the completion of the Jade Rite. Secret Miracle. Discover the secret of the Jade in Mount Laishin. here. Huh? Anyone? Why, why are you over here? 
I'm dead in. Dead in? Uh, where want you get into? Drops rest, where Fujin is resting. Drops rest? Oh, you mean the place Fujin dragged us off to way back when? Is in the boat sealed by her adeptal energy. I don't have her adeptal energy, because I cannot go to her. Huh? But didn't mention anything before she went back to rest. Jade my mind. Do you need help? Adeptal energy you possess is sufficient to open the gate of Trop's rest, so yes, I need help. Huh? Wait a sec. You've been waiting here for us this whole time? I was not waiting for you. I was looking for a way into Trop's rest. That seems like pretty much the same thing too. Anyways, uh, we're we are a bit worried about Fujin's condition too, so why don't we go see her together? Fine, thank you both. Follow me. Follow you? Uh, follow you. Okay. Rest. Secluded path. Uh, so pretty ancient thing. All right, activate. This, this is the place. Oh, the door is open, just go on forward. Now that you mention it, when she brought us here before, which should never power requires familiarity. But power is no exception. Okay. We're going to Fujin's abode. they say by the way about that um so for the left one jade fragment with adeptal energy lingering around it in the legends told by the ancestral peoples all jades originally uh, came from the same stone that's that holds true it might be possible to join the jade fragments together yeah possibly All right. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Larion Echo. At proper rock. Why did you all come here? Oh, it's Virgin's voice. It's coming from down below. I'm a little worried about you. Yeah, we're all worried about your health. So we just came here without giving you a heads up. Same thing to us first. I'm on things we're straight now. Also, there's a radiant spin crystal over there. Huh? Ah, sorry. 
When I returned here to rest, I think I forgot to unlock the entrance. I'm so sorry. You came here to see me? Let me think it's harder for you to tell instead. Oh, it wasn't much of a hassle. Why are you, uh, hiding in the puddle? Um, how should I put it? As I can't return to the form I prefer yet. If you guys always seen me in my top form, I can't help but feel a bit embarrassed. You are aware that we've already seen it many, many times, right? There's no need to hide yourself, is there? <laughs> but before, it turned back into human form whenever I wanted, so I thought moving around the top was just a matter of convenience. But now, all I have is this slick and slippery self, so I find it a bit... Whoa, that's a bit strange. Uh, uh, that's a bit of a strange thing to be insistent, so it's about. But anyway, all that matters is that you're okay. But Ling Yuan said that your adeptal energy wasn't consumed. It's just dispersed around the mountains, forests, and rivers of Chen Yuvel. That's why you've been weakened so much. So if we were to collect the scattered depthal energy, just like when we were finding the golden top in Yaoti Valley, then you'd get better, right? Yes. At least in theory, that's correct, but... Right, right? So if we see similar top, we should just bring them back here. That way, we recover much faster. Then that would far too much trouble for you. My power is not yet that feeble. If I simply rest here for some time, it will be enough. Eh, it's not that much of a hassle. We'll just keep our eyes peeled if we run into any. Thank you, then. However, I really don't want to trouble you anymore on my behalf. You've already done so much for me. If the two of you should happen to find any more adaptable energy during your travels, you simply transfer it into the jade here. Uh, though balance has been restored to the water and soil, if we can add more power to the rain jade, we can ensure favorable weather and pro prosperous years to come. And what about you? Really now? I already told you, all I need to do is rest here for a bit. Mo Paimon, I really am quite grateful and quite happy that you came to visit me. This is the first time anyone has come here since her blood left. Thank you as well, Lin Yuan. But nothing worthy of your friends or your thanks. All right, enough of that. And just think of it as me thanking you for bringing Limul and Paimon here. Really now? And lastly, let me say thank you once more, Limul and Paimon, for all of you have done. Ranging oblation. Flashing, Blation? I don't know. So, I think this is where we put all the spirit tops. At least I think it is. Rain Jade of Lisha. Uh, Fujin's Adaptal Energy. Has transformed it to many spirit top that are scattered all over Chinyu Vale. Collect the energy within spirit top and transfer it into the votive rain jade within top's rests to increase its level and obtain the blessings of Chinyu Vale. And you have collected 40 spirit top. You will receive the votive rain jade's revelation with March locations of the remaining spirit top. Oh, that's quite nice of you. Since I have 40 of those, as, uh, I mean, uh, I will be able to use uh, the votive rain jade's revelations. Right? All right. Uh, let's check the rewards first. How many? Ten? So... Five... Ten... Fifteen... Five... Thirty... Five... Forty... Five... Fifty... Fifty... Five... Twenty-five... Twenty... 
and five. Yeah, okay. Makes quite a lot of sense. Of late. So, to acquaint fates. Laws of Fees of Prosperity. If you're not sure what to do next, kind of inside. how about I take you on a walk? Laws of Fees of Diligence. Laws of Two Acquaint Fates. Gold. Two Intertwined Fates. No plans to build a trove. Nice. I'll be able to get the name card as well. According to Fujin, by placing the spirit drop to let the renewed adventures in aid, only can you ensure favorable weather for Chinu Vale for the next year, but you will also receive the blessings of oil and water. What is this? Rain Jade Statuette in the Discourse. Strangely shaped stone carving that imitates the form of the carefree simulator gathered throughout Chinuvel. It appears nearly identical to the originals, uh, besides possessing no magical power whatsoever. It is said that these stone carvings were first made by the ancestors of the people of Chinuvel, but not to say why they chose such a shape. Oh, or why this shape gives people a carefree feeling. 